Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world and how's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. I'm I'm good. I'm I'm better. Um you know, I don't like I don't enjoy the days where I come on here and tell you that I'm not having a great time. I've never really enjoyed that. But and and I and I think that it makes for bad content. Like I think that me coming on here and saying that my life sucks right now or whatever the situation is. Uh, my life hasn't sucked for a long time, by the way. My current situation or I'm frustrated with something. Uh, that's not helpful information to you. That's not entertainment. That's just like, eh, right? But I feel like I would be doing everybody an injustice if I came on here and pretended to be okay. Uh, there was a time in this show's existence where that is exactly what I was doing. Uh, that was the year that my my brother-in-law died, my father-in-law died, my kids had moved out. Like my life was a complete mess, and I had to just come on here and and just pow through, just power through. I don't know why I said pow. I think I tried to say plow through. Anyway, I had to I had to come on here and pretend to be okay because it wasn't it wasn't going to be all right for an extremely long time, and for me to just come on here and be like. Oh, shit sucks this today was not going to be beneficial for myself or for you. And so I, I put face on and I, and I, and I pretended, um, I don't have to do that really anymore. I, my life is pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, pretty, I'm in a pretty good place. And, um, I don't feel like I have to, uh, I, I'm, I'm no longer putting on a show. I'm now just, I'm not, it's, this is now just a diary. Like, let's be honest, even though I do reviews sometimes and I talk about t interesting topics, for the most part, this is just a diary. And I'm no longer worried about what uh, the audience as a whole thinks. There's like six or eight of you that watch these shows, watch these episodes every day and that comment all the time. You're the only people, not, that's... <laughs> You're, you're the most important to me, right? Like, you're the ones that keep this, you know, interesting for me. Because I do get good feedback. I do get valuable feedback. And sometimes I have really interesting discussions with you all. And that that's more important to me than anything. Uh, but today is good because all the problems I was having this weekend with trying to learn this code base, trying to learn this framework, trying to learn this X, whatever it was that was failing and I was feeling, I was feeling stupid about, I fixed it yesterday. Uh, after work, we had I worked on it a little bit, and then we had a soccer game last night, and on the way to the soccer game, I went, oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. And I came back, and I was correct, and I fixed that problem, and then I made myself a list of things I still needed to do accomplished in order to consider this feature feature complete, which isn't necessarily done. It just means that the feature works the way I'm expecting it to work. Um, and I got that working this morning. Uh, before work this morning, I spent a half an hour and got it working. Now, I, all I have to do is, uh, it, the whole thing works. It does what it's supposed to do. It has validation. It does all those things. And I just need to put it in its correct place. It's currently in an incorrect place. And it's loading way more than it needs to load. I just need to move it to a correct place. And I know how to do that. Or I at least know where it needs to go. And I know how to make sure it works over there. But I just have to fix all the... There's going to be a whole bunch of things break when I do that. And I have to fix all of those things and not overwhelm myself with it. So it's good. It's really good because I'm learning. And and for me, as I've mentioned a thousand times before, learning is my favorite hobby. I, I really love it. And I really love solving problems and being technically efficient uh, or apt. Uh, it, it, it It feels good, right? Like, it feels really good. For instance, we have at my at my day job, my 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 nine to five job, um, we we're starting to collect customer information, like not uh, customer satisfaction, and we had to build, uh, we wanted to build some sort of uh, automatic, uh, like you you we, we you would automatically get a survey, and then you could fill it out if you wanted to. And uh, we did it, and it kind of was okay-ish, but then people were like, we needed more information on this form that wasn't necessarily something that 
A, the, the client might not know the information, uh, and B, it should have probably been filled in for them. Like, you're clicking a link. Like, you know, when you click a link in MailChimp, it knows who you are, where you came from, what your whatever is. It should have been something like that. Um, and so we were talking about that yesterday, and I was like, we can do that. Like, I can totally set it up to do that. And they were like, really? Yeah. Yeah, we can make that work. Uh, and so I did. I'm, that's what I've been working on today, and it's great. And my boss is like, dude, this, this is so much better than what we had. Thank you. And it was just like, you know, it feels good to say, hey, we, we got this. Like, let's do it. And I'll just spend a half day on it, and it'll work. It's not done. I mean, there's still other features I want to add or other features we're considering, but... Uh, the overall work of it, it's done. Like, it just works. And it feels good to know I can do that. I know how to do that. I Give me the time to go do it. And that's all you, you know, that's all I need is just a little bit of time. And um, I think I will eventually get there. Uh, but what I learned through this past, let's see, I've been working on this particular task. On the, We're talking on the side gig now. On the side gig, I've been working on this particular, this one task for four or five days now and it's not a big task it's it's a pretty it's a you're really just copying something right but the way you have to copy things is uh there's a whole lot of foreign keys so i have to make sure that i can make the new thing grab its index pump that into a whole bunch of different places it's outside of the current scope so i have to go you know, I have to be able to get outside of my, my current scope to figure out where this all needs to go. It actually ended up being a very technically complex problem. Uh, and it, it took me a very long time to work through the process. Uh, but now that I've done it, hopefully, when something like this pops up, I go, I know what I need to do. I've got this, right? If nothing else, I can look at the current code that I have and go, all right, well, I had to go do this. So I'll just go do that again. And that's kind of the I think that's how most programming works for me. It's knowing the tool set that I have available to me and going, I know a tool that will apply, right? And in this particular case, I am learning all new tool sets. Like, I know basic JavaScript to a very basic degree. I know how to manipulate page objects and stuff like that. I've never really dug super deep into JavaScript. Um, but, you know, I know it enough to function. Uh, and then the rest of this technology is beyond new to me it's it's some of it's baffling uh but i figured it out and i worked my way through it and it's been fun it's been very very fun i'm very much enjoying the process um so it's good uh and i don't i don't want to always be uh i don't want <clears throat> to hopefully i'm not a downer too often that it becomes problematic right uh if that happens you'll let me know right because i think that uh, this is a two-way thing. This is a this is a uh, this is a relationship of sorts, and I think that you guys know uh, when I'm excited. You also know when I'm not, and you also know when I'm maybe not doing great. And uh, so, if that if that persists for a long time, let me know. Um, be that you know that first line of defense for me. Usually M is. Like, she'll, she knows. She absolutely knows when I'm not feeling great. And she'll be like, you good? Yeah, let's, you know, play games or whatever. Usually that'll help. So, I'm going to go back uh, to work. I've got quite a bit of day job tasks to do. And then we have some soccer practice and stuff tonight. So, I don't know that I'll get to do side gig stuff tonight. But maybe. I'd like to finish this task and be done with it. <laughs> And, um, and then, you know, show, show the project owner what his money is buying. <laughs> Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is nugatory. It is an adjective meaning trifling, worthless, and ineffective. We spend our time like, the, like most with the nugatory pastimes of polo, tennis, on grass courts, and weekends in Europe. Nugatory. N-U-G-A-T-O-R-Y. That is a very new word to me, and I very much like that. Trifling and worthless. Nugatory.